What's up everyone, I'm back at y'all with another video now with this one, I'm reviewing Amityville 2, The Possession. Now this is my first time watching this film, and I can't believe that this is my first time watching this film. Now, I enjoy this movie, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a casual Amityville horror fan, you know, I didn't like the first one, I know some people did, but I found the first one super slow, I like a slow burn build up, as long as builds up the suspense and I feel like the original didn't do that for me the original was just the original was just slow very slow paced you know and um and a lot of times the original was always the best but in this case the original is one of my least favorites out of the Amityville movies I haven't watched every single Amityville movie I might start to try to watch the entire franchise but I've heard that there's like thousands of freaking Amityville movies out there so I'm probably going to check those out, but for right now, Amityville 2 is a possession. is the best one so far. I enjoyed the remake. I know some people didn't, but I love the remake. The one with Ryan Reynolds. Love that film. So, Amityville 2, I love it. It's it's very good and suspenseful. We have Burt Young in it, which is he played, of course, Paulie in the Rocky franchise. So, so he did pretty good in this film. Um, he... He pretty much played like an abusive father and abusive husband in the film. And he played his role very well because you start to hate his ass in this film. And the story is very, very good. You know, um, the way the camera pans in, it's like, it's like we're the ghost following where the camera's going. It's, it's freaking crazy. It's wild. And the story in this film is very good. I don't want to spoil anything. Just in case some of y'all haven't watched it, because this is my first time watching it. And this film came out in the 80s, and it, it's very low on Rotten Tomatoes right now. I think it's like, it's like a 22 or 24%. I have to recheck that, but it's very slow on Rotten Tomatoes, which at the time, you can't trust Rotten Tomatoes, because sometimes they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They really don't, because this movie was great. I enjoyed it from start to finish. It had that slow burn buildup that keeps... That keeps building up the suspense so the more the film goes on the more the crazy stuff start to happen and this is and the freaking mood and atmosphere in this film was very well done the mood and atmosphere in this film was very well done this film is is very good if you haven't watched it yet i highly recommend it um because i don't hear that much people talking about this film i heard some people talk about it but but a lot of people i don't think it's what this film yet and this film's a classic it came out in the 80s and i'm surprised that this is my first time watching it um and i'm a big fan of like supernatural horror anyways i'm a huge fan of slashers and supernatural horror so so yeah and i'm also a huge fan of the killer doll genre so i'm a huge fan of all those and the amityville horror 2 the possession fantastic of a film i can't think of any negatives to say about this film other than this, it's great. Like, I can't think of any negatives to say about this film. It's creepy at times. It's eerie at times. And this film is one of those possession films, haunted house films, that doesn't depend on jump scares. But the stuff that happens, like, like when this guy's possessed, um, he looks creepy as hell. And, you know... He starts to look creepy as hell. And with and there's some tragic stuff happening towards the end. And this film has a ton of high stakes for a supernatural horror film. So yeah, if I had to rate this movie, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I freaking love it. I can't think of any negatives. That's why I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Because a lot of movies that i got some negatives in it will be around an 8 out of 10 or an 8.5 or just a 9 out of 10. There's a little bit of negatives. But I can't think of any negatives in this movie so yeah Amityville 2 The Possession love the film it's a 10 out of 10 for me I enjoy this film from start to finish it's a great great fun and entertaining horror film so yeah let me know in the comments below if y'all seen Amityville The Possession or Amityville 2 The Possession if y'all enjoyed the film let me know in the comments below I enjoyed it great film I'm probably gonna watch it again because I just got done watching it like a few minutes ago on HBO Max. So, I enjoyed the film. If y'all got HBO Max, I highly, if y'all haven't watched it, 
and y'all have HBO Max, I highly recommend y'all checking this film out. So yeah, I guess I'm out of here. If y'all enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share. And also hit the bell, stay on the videos uploaded. Peace out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Now I'm out. Peace.